to lead us and prepare our hearts to receive what's of truth lord and uh, protect our hearts from not what uh, from what's not of truth lord. we do pray father that your name be glorified in this devotion in jesus name we pray amen amen, amen. Well, good morning Marodele, Tolofalava, Kiorana, and greetings in the name of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Um, it, uh, my name is Fala, I'm just one of the brothers here at church, you'll see me on Sunday. Um, what we tend to do in this devotion is unpack a psalm and we're going verse by verse. So the psalm that we're unpacking or we've been journeying through as a church is Psalm 3. So we've been looking at Psalm 3. Um, so we're going to continue on with Psalm 3. Um, so before we get into our two verses this morning, um, which is 5 and 6, verses 5 and 6, I'll do a quick recap for what we have already covered, along with its applications. So in verses 1 and 2, in Psalm 3, verse 1 and 2, we find the con concerns or the troubles of King David. We find his concerns or the troubles of King David. <coughs> We see that, that David cries out to the Lord because many are those who rise up against him, many are those who trouble him, and many are those who say to him, there is no help for him who is in God. The applications that follow, that we took away, was the actions of King David. The actions of King David, which was he turned to God in prayer. The scriptures we took away was 1 Peter 5, 7. 1 Peter 5, 7 was, cast all your anxieties upon him because he cares for you. And we also took away Psalm 55, verse 22, which was, cast all your burdens <coughs> upon the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken. We move on to verse 3 and 4, and David declares his confidence in the Lord. So it moves from David's troubles to now David. <coughs> declaring his confidence in the Lord. David cries out to the Lord amongst his enemies who are rapidly increasing. And he cries out and he says, You, O Lord, but you, O Lord, are my shield. And remember that term shield was a 360 degree protection from all sides, from above and from underneath. He also says that you are my glory and the one who lifted up my head. We took away two applications from the, these two verses. Um, application number one was the protection part. The protection part, the, the shield, the 360 degree shield. And we quoted from Psalm 18 verse two, Psalm 18 verse two, which says, the Lord is my rock, my fortress and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. So the protection part of um, of Psalm 3, uh, where David cried out to the Lord to be his shield, that was the application that we took away. Application number two was trusting the Lord hears our prayers. Trusting the Lord hears our prayers. This is, and we took, uh, we read from 1 John 5, 14. And we have this confidence in him that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Again, the most important part of that prayer is that according to his will and according to his timing and not ours. And now we find ourselves in verses 5 and 6 where David sings of his safety and sleep. David sings of his safety and sleep. If I can have those of us of a Psalm 1 Bible, please read Salamu Tom Fai Upu Fa Malelima or Maleono. Lima Maleono. Sorry. Salamu tolu fai upu lima maleono. Ia. Salamu tolu tolu fai upu lima maleono. Ia. 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 Neo tokoto hifo peo mohe au na aku hake he ko sihova oku ne faka olunga au e ikai te mano vahe ki ha mano i kakai neongo e na kapu yau takatakai. 
In English it reads, I lay down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who have set themselves against me all around. This verse looks at David again who sings the safety of his sleep. If we remember in verses 3 and 4, King David cries out to the Lord. He looks to the Lord for strength. He looks to the Lord for protection. He asks God to be his shield around him, to surround him 360 degrees protection. And that's protection from above, from the sides and underneath. King David also says in verse 4, and he hears me from his holy hill. He hears me from his holy hill. In verses 5 and 6, we find that this verse is almost God answering that prayer. That mm. God answers the prayer of King David from his holy hill. Yeah. David's prayer is answered by this one thing. I lay down and slept. Mm. I awoke. Yeah. I lay down and slept. I awoke. Mm. The fact that King David got to sleep in the midst of his troubles, in the midst of in his enemies around him, he gets to wake up. He gets to breathe again. He gets to rest amongst all that was going on in his, around him. And this was his praise. This was his testimony. The word used, I lay down, comes from the Hebrew word, shokab. Shokab, which means to rest or to relax. So think about it. In his troubles, in his distress, Everything around him is his enemies or foes that are surrounding him right around. King David sleeps. King David rests, knowing that he's prayed to God and he has confidence in God that he answered him. King David is confident in God that he will protect them and that he will keep them safe. In scripture, we see another time where King David sleeps and knows that God will protect them. If we can all turn to Psalm 4, verse 8. Psalm 4, verse 8. Salamu, uh, salamu fa, fai upu valu, please. And for those of us of a um, Salmon Bible, if we can please read Salamu fa, fai upu valu. Ia. Um, Brother Vaivai, if I can have you please read Psalm 4, verse 8 in English, please. Uh, verse 8, Psalm 4, I will both lie down in peace and sleep. For you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. Yeah. He kokoi eiki o kuke fe unga toko taha mo e kunofu mo unga. So even there in this psalm, in this, um, this psalm and verse, David lies down in peace and he sleeps. For you alone, as in you, Lord alone, make me dwell in safety. We see another, um, we, see, we see in Proverbs, Chapter 14, verse 26, which is written by his son Solomon. And it reads this, In the fear of the Lord, there is strong confidence, and his children will have a place of refuge. As it says in Proverbs 14, 26, May I suggest that David had the fear of the Lord. He respected God. He honoured God. He held his name to a high esteem. So we could say that according to Proverbs 14, 26, that because David had such reverence for the Lord, because he had such, he, because he held his name to a high esteem, we could also say that he was kept while he was sleeping because he reverenced his name, because he held his name in high esteem as according to Proverbs 14, 26. King David continued to say, I awoke, for the Lord sustained me. I awoke, for the Lord sustained me. As you have continually heard throughout the psalm, that King David turns only, only to the Lord. Here we find that it's only the Lord who sustained King David. Not his friends, not those who are around him, but the Lord as it reads there. 
for the Lord sustain. Mm. The word sustain comes from the Hebrew word somek, somek, which means to lean, to rest, to support, and to uphold. Mm. So it was the Lord that King David leaned on. It was the Lord that King David rested in. It was the Lord that uphold or upheld King David. It was the Lord who supported King David. Amen. King David trusted the Lord to be his protection in the midst of his troubles. Even in the midst of his enemies and his foes, King David still trusted the Lord. So in wrap up of verse 5 is this. His prayer was answered in the fact that he went to sleep in the midst of his troubles, in his grief, and he awoke for the Lord sustained him through his sleep, through his sleep. So it was almost an answered prayer for King David. The transition into verse 6 of Psalm 3 is David's confidence in the Lord. This is where we see David's confidence in the Lord. If I can have my um, Psalm 1 Bible readers, please read Salam Tolu Fai Upuwono. Salam, salam utolu fai upuwono, please. Tinefefe fefe mano mano tanata. Oesi usi amaya tia. Sami vahe tolu vesi ono kubeheni lao. E eiki te umana vahe ki hea mano i kakai. Ne yongo enau kapu, kapu i au takatakai. Psalm 3 verse 6. I will not be afraid of 10,000 of people. We have set themselves against me all around. King David awakens from his sleep knowing that God has protected him. Now he proclaims or he declares or this is the confidence that he has in the Lord. Where he says, I will not be afraid. That's right. I will not be afraid of 10,000 of people who set themselves all around. These men, these 10,000 people or 10,000 men have set, who have set themselves around this could possibly be the foes or the enemies that King David talked about in verse 1. His foes were increasing and rapidly increasing who wrote and rose up against him. We notice also where the enemies are set. They're not just in front. They're not just at the back or just on the sides. They're all around King David. That's a 360 degree surrounding. But David says, I will not be afraid. The word afraid comes from the Hebrew word yore, yore, which means to fear, to be afraid, or to be fearful. Now why isn't David afraid, or why wasn't he scared knowing that there's 10,000 people surrounding him? Well, for one reason we read that in verse 5, that God sustained him, that God answered his prayer. And a possible reason, if I may, is that God was his shield. As we read in um, Psalm 3, verse 3, that 360 degree shield, that though my enemies are surrounding me, you too, Lord, are surrounding me as a shield, protecting me. This provides King David with protection from the front, from the back, from the sides, above, and underneath, all at the same time. So in wrap up of verse 6, King David being confident in the Lord, as the Lord answers him from his holy hill. David's confidence in the Lord arose when he went to sleep and awoke because it was the Lord who sustains him. King David says that he won't be afraid of 10,000 of men who set themselves around him because he trusted that God who sustained him while he slept will also be the same God who will protect him, the 360 degree shield. A way of application for us, if I may. The first one would be trust. The first one is trust. David prays and he trusts in the Lord that he got to sleep in the midst of danger around him and he was sustained and protected. If we can all turn to Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. Fa'ata'oto tolu fa'upulima maleonu. The first application for us would be an application of trust. So if I to tolu fai upulima maleono iya
So Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 and 6 says, 6 says this, Trust in the Lord of all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. The second way of application would be a heart of gratitude. A heart of gratitude. David cried out to the Lord and trusted the Lord. And his prayer was answered in the one fact that he still got to wake up, that he still got to breathe. Mm -hmm. Brothers and sisters, let us never take for granted the gift of life that we have when we awake from sleep. Mm -hmm. If we have nothing to be grateful for, let us be grateful for the gift of life in Christ mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. I'll end with this psalm, Psalm 18, verse 2. Salamu se fulu valu, fai upu e lua. Salamu se fulu valu, fai upu e lua. There's a verse for Psalm 1 Bible. If I can have you read, Salamu se fulu valu, fai upu e lua. Ia. Chalita, <laughs> Ko eku ba, mo hoku nifo, faka mo ui, ko hoku fu utawa. Psalm 18 verse 2 reads this, The Lord is my rock, my fortress and my deliverer. My God is my rock, in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. May we walk in confidence in our Lord, who we can trust to protect us in the midst of troubles. Let us also be reminded to be grateful for the gift of life through our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. <coughs> I will pray to end off the devotion and I will hand it over to Brother Vai Vai who will lead us in a song. And if I can please ask everyone to be standing as we sing unto the Lord. So let us pray. Father, I thank you for your word. Thank you. I thank you, Father, that uh, you consider our prayers and you hear our prayers. Lord. Help us trust in your sovereignty that it's according to your will and your will alone, Father. Help us be doers of the word, not just mere hearers of the word. Sanctify us, Lord. I ask for strength, Lord, as we continue to live a life, a godly life, unto your name, to live a life of separateness from sin and evil. Father, let what of truth find itself on good soil again um, and plant itself in good soil, Father, and let not what of truth, Lord, let it fall on deaf ears, Lord. According to your will and your time, let it grow and bear fruit. As we go into a time of prayer, let us be grateful that you consider our prayers. Let us put our trust in your sovereignty and align our prayers with your will, according to your word, for your glory alone. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen.